right. What's up, y'all? It's Stefan coming at you from Fitness in the City Five Points here for another week of YouTube content, putting it out there for you. Um, today we are going to start getting going with Ricky here. We're getting our final snow shape workout in. This is the final workout from last Saturday. Want to make sure we get it up live for you so you can check back on those snow shape workouts. This one is a doozy. We had to flip a uh, coin. We had to do best best uh, out of seven on a coin flip to see who was going to teach this one and who was going to take it. Uh, I came out victorious, so Rick has to take it, but I'm confident he's going to kill it. So um, all you'll need today is your band, elevated surface, and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to start Ricky actually from standing. I'm just going to start working this some nice controlled body weight squats. We'll just take five or six nice easy squats down. Good, at the top of that next rep, we're gonna get hands out wide, taking a reach and pulling those shoulder blades apart, pulling them back together, extending it back out. Take five or six, just like that. We got some time in a plank position today. So just kind of trying to find some space in between those shoulder blades, a little bit of motion. Rick's moving to the beat, I like it. Like he's at a show. I love it. I love it. From there, we'll start, from there, we'll start working into some nice, easy hinges forward, hands across the chest, slight bend in those knees as we drop it in, then pull those hips through. Maybe eight to 10 there. And then I'm going to bring Rick down to a seated position and we'll start working through a little bit of 90-90. A little hinge over that front leg as he comes across. You ever pop in that score? Uh, a couple times, yeah. Get, getting, your, getting some uh, little tchotchkes going over there. Yeah. We've got neat things. Neat stuff. Good, easy little hinges over that front leg as we come side to side. We'll take one or two more each way. And then I'm gonna have Rick come to his back and start working through some bridges. We'll go five or six bridges. You're good. Five or six bridges, driving. Piece of glass? I think so. <laughs> nice, perfect. And then Rick's gonna come up to seated, back up to seated, and we're gonna work into some inverted tabletops, kind of working into that crab position, opening those shoulders up as we drive those hips high. What's up? What, it's just glass on the floor? Yeah, that's a new, that's a new class we're starting. Just glass on the floor. You gotta sign a specific waiver for this class. Oh yeah, bop it out. If you wanna bop it out like Ricky, do your thing. Hips up and down, side to side. Good, and then from there, I'm gonna have him flip it over to hands and knees, take a few cat cows. Just finding a little bit of movement in that spine, into those hips. And then making sure those toes are tucked. He's just gonna pull those knees slightly off the floor. Good. Just locking that position in, dropping him back down, raising it right back up. We'll get right into this movement at the beginning of our workout. So just kinda wanna prep those wrists heavy in our hands, getting everything active. Loose, but tight as well. Yeah, good, go ahead and drop it down. Good, he's gonna come back up to his feet. We're gonna run that warm up a little bit short today as we have been recently. So if you need extra time, feel free to take it. But Rick's gonna start bouncing, a little bit of active movement off those toes. Easy little bounce. Working through some butt kickers to start here. 
And then into some jumping jacks, big hands up overhead. And then into some butt kickers. And then some A skips. And then back off of two feet, easy little rotation. And then anything else you need at home, feel free to take it. If you need a little extra time, go ahead and take a pause there. Hold us on pause and then we can come back to it. Flex it out. Make sure you get that flex in the mirror before we get rolling. All right, y'all, today, like I said, final workout of our Snow Shape series from this year. All you'll need is your band and that uh, elevated surface, whether that be your couch, a box, whatever you got to use, elevated surface is what we need. We've got six groupings of movements, okay? Six groupings here, and we just go two movements at a time. We're going back and forth on those movements. 30 seconds on, 10 to 15 seconds on the transition. I'm gonna kind of pace it out, seeing how Rick's moving. If he's starting to get gas, I'll give him a little extra time. So hopefully that pace works for you as well. Again, take what you need from it. If you need a little bit more, you can crank it up. If you need a little less, take a couple extra seconds when you need them, okay? Uh, first two movements here. We're coming on to that left foot. We're gonna take a lateral step up, stepping it up. As I come back down, nice and controlled, and then I step left leg reverse lunge. Lateral step up, right back down, into that reverse lunge on that side. We're going 15 seconds each way there. Quick transition side to side. Rick starts that left foot up on the box. So no, he doesn't, he starts it on the floor. Once you start from the floor, step it out. All right, now we're on the same page. And let's go, 15 seconds each way here. Good, as he comes back down, quick reverse lunge, dropping that knee and then right back to the top. Good, switching in three, two, and let's switch it. Turn it around, other way, driving that knee, dropping it down, and right reverse lunge right in. Just 15 seconds here. Good work, y'all. Last five. And time. Good. All right, y'all. Next, we're moving into that band. Band is going to be down just below the knees. We're going to start in that bare position that we had in our warm-up. We're going to pull those knees just slightly up off the floor. Keeping 90 degrees in those knees. I'm driving out, back in, shoulder tap. Shoulder tap, so that can be a step. And back in, taking those taps. We just get those feet wide, pull them back together, and then we take a shoulder tap each way. Here we go. In three, in two, and we go. Good, little jack out. Shoulder tap across. 30 seconds here. Already halfway in. Good work, good work. Final five. And time, good. All right, coming on back up. We're right back to number one. We're just going back and forth between those two. Starting on whichever side you'd like. Here we go, in three, in two. And let's get it. We take that lateral step up, drop it back down. Knee comes down toward the floor. Quick reverse lunge. As we move into these next two or three rounds, you can feel free to pick that pace up a little bit. Our focus in the workout this week was power, okay? So trying to match load and speed as we go through, switching it out. 
Good work. We're working into that second side. No? Last five. And time. Good. All right. Back into that band. If you want a little bit more resistance, you can drop that band to the ankle. We go in three, in two, and let's go. That can also be a step. Take what you need here. 30 seconds on the work. Good work, Rick. Good work at home. You've got under 10 seconds. One more hop. In three, two, and time. Good job, y'all. All right, beautiful. Let's ditch that band. We've got one more time through both movements. And let's go. 15 seconds on the clock. Is it that left side? Yeah. No bueno, huh? Rick's got a creaky knee today. Good work, good work. Five more seconds on this side, maybe one more rep. And let's flip it around and go. Good work, good work. Under 10. Final five. And time, good. All right, back into that band one more time. Finding that bear position. Just hovering those knees slightly off the floor. It's either a step or a hop wide. If the band's too much, ditch the band. In three, two, and let's go. Hop them out, hop them in, tap, and tap. Beautiful, good job, Ricky. Notice Rick has that nice flat back. Little tabletop through that back. Keeping those knees nice and low to the floor here. Under 10. In three, in two, and time. Beautiful job, y'all. All right, we'll take a short break. Quick and easy. Great job, all right. Next one in here, option here for either a box jump or a rotational step up. So a transverse step up or a jump, okay? If you're gonna take that jump, you're gonna face across your elevated surface here, okay? So it'll be just off my hip and I'm coming up, rotate to the top, step it back down. We'll take 15 seconds each way or same deal, same starting point. We open that hip up, step it up, and then step it right back down. Either is fine with me. Okay, that'll be our first movement there. Here we go. 15 seconds each way, beginning in three, in two, and let's go. Huh? If it's too much, it's all good. Good, flipping around, let's hit that second side, right into it. Good, we only get 30 seconds through these rounds, y'all. Last three. And time, good. All right. Second one here. We're gonna tuck those thumbs into our band. Legs out long, we're going overhead sit up, two pulses at the top, and then right back down to the bottom. Up, two pulses, and then we roll it right back down, getting those arms high up overhead. Good. All right, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, and let's go. Good, two pulses at the top here. Nice and tall all the way through. Good, y'all. 10 seconds left in this first round in. Last five. 
in three, and time, good. All right, back on up. Either step up or taking that jump, up to you. In three, two, and let's go. 15 seconds each way. If you have your eyes on the screen, you can notice Rick, even though he's taking the step up, he's making that a powerful press up to the top of that standing position in that box, really driving those hips through at the top. And switching sides, 15 seconds on this second side. Yeah, good, pop those hips. Psst, nice, good. All right. Good work, y'all. Last five. Rick's got two more reps in him. And time. Good. All right. Coming back down to the bottom. Finding that seated position. Let's go overhead sit up. Two pulses at the top in three, in two. And let's go. 30 seconds on the clock. Good work, good work. 10 seconds, 10 seconds here. Good work, good work. Two more reps, let's get it to the top, pulse it out. Last one, and time, good, all right. Quick transition back up to the top. One more time into these movements. Let's go in five, in three, and let's begin. Good, rotation to the top. Popping those hips, standing tall every single time. Good work, five seconds. And time, let's transition that second side right into it. Nice rotation, beautiful. I saw, I thought you might do it that way, I like it. Good work, y'all. Under 10, two more. Knock them out, especially if you're taking those jumps, you got time. And time, beautiful job. All right, let's finish out. Sit-ups to finish us out. Last time through here, grabbing that band, pulsing at the top. In three, in two, and let's go. Good work, y'all. You've got 10 seconds left here. In three, two, and time. Good. Beautiful. All right, we'll take extended rest here. We got two rounds down, we're moving on. Next one in, we're going single leg hinge hop. 15 seconds each way here. Just finding that nice, easy drop in, pulling that knee up and through, little hop, right back to the bottom, okay? Foundational movement, we do a lot in class. Single leg hinge chop, 15 seconds each way there. Let's go in three, in two, and we go, 15 seconds each side. Good work, y'all. We switch in three, in two, and switch. 15 seconds the other way. If that hop's not working for you, if you can't find that stable landing spot, all good. Just pull that knee through, but once again, pull it through forcefully, standing tall, finishing in five, in three, and rest. Good, great demo, Rick. All right, y'all, next one in. All right, next one in. We're gonna use that band once again. I'm gonna extend that band out low. I'm gonna stay low into that squat position. And then I'm coming up. As I come up out of that squat, I'm gonna rotate knee toward elbow, coming across, holding that band out. Tension on the band, I don't want you to drive it out wide. Just create a little bit of tension, roll those shoulders down and back. Low squat, pause at the bottom, and then we rotate knee toward opposite elbow. In three, in two, and let's go. Rick's got a very serious look on his face. This guy means business today. He's thinking about 
what he's going to eat after he gets out of here. My guess is it's a burrito. It's a pizza burrito. He said Rosenberg's, but Rosenberg's going to be closed yeah. by the time we finish filming. So burrito it is. Last five. And time. Good. All right, y'all. Back in. Single leg hinge chop. Second time through. In three. In two. And let's do it. Good. So if you got your eyes on the camera here, notice how Rick is still moving with force to the top. He's just not coming off that foot. He's got a little bit of knee tightness today. Still getting a lot of good work in from that position. Large extension back and we switch. Second side right into it. Good work, final five. And time, good. All right, back into that low squat. Powerful rotation to the top. Knee toward opposite elbow. Good, find that squat position, hold that band, here we go. And begin, let's do it. Starting low, rotating to the top. Big twist, forcing that band across. Beautiful. Good, nice, super strong rotation here in studio. We're expiring up those obliques, driving that knee, almost making contact knee to elbow. We finish in three, in two, and rest, good. All right, we got one more on each side here. One more movement each way. Single leg hinge hops, 15 seconds. One more time in, here we go. In three, in two, and let's get it. 15 seconds each way here. <clears throat> oh boy. Good, switching in five. And switch, good, right into that second side. Last five. And rest, good. Beautiful, all right. Last time into those squats. Here we go, band up in three, in two, and let's get it. Final 30 seconds in this third round. This takes us halfway. Good, that's halfway in. Good, relax those shoulders down and back. Take this out of your traps. Five seconds left. And rest, good job, all right. Take extended rest again as we move into those next set of movements. Once again, into that band. All right. Now we're gonna take a little inside kick, lateral kick in, okay? So not back and not exactly out wide, kind of at a 45. Kick, skater, kick, skater across, okay? Nice easy kick. That can be a step squat rather than a skater if you need it to be. But if you have that power to drive out wide, let's take it, kick at 45. And then that big step or hop across. And begin, clock is on, let's do it. Good. Doesn't have to be a huge range of motion on that hop. Just keep tension on that band all the way through. 15 seconds in, 15 to go. In three, in two, and that's time. Good, ditching that band. All right, we're coming down to side plank, hip dips. Coming down to that elbow, dropping hips down to the floor and driving them up toward the ceiling. A Little bit of oblique work here. Pressing that pinky down into the floor. Here we go, in three, in two, and let's go.
Good. Once we go into that transition, it's going to be a quick roll to that second side. And switch. Roll it over and go. Pretty sure I had this last week. Pretty sure I had this last week. And it worked out. I think so. And rest. Good job. All right, coming back to number one. Don't hesitate to make that a step instead of a hop, if, especially if that band is on the newer end. Might be a little bit tight. If you got the hop, keep doing it. We only get three rounds. Here we go. Three, two, and begin. Good work. 10 seconds in. 30 seconds strong here. Good work, Rick. Final five. And rest. Good job. All right, coming back to those side plank hip dips. Coming back to the floor. Either side starts or works for our start. And begin. Let's do it. Drop the hip, drive it up. Working on that range. Still trying to find a powerful press up tie. Let's see if we can find some range here. Dropping it in, sending it up. And switch, rolling it over, switching sides right into it. Good work, good work. Last three, two, and time. Good job. All right, coming back up to your feet. We got one more time in. Back into that band. Skater into that hop, lateral kick inside, and begin. Clock is on. Final round here. 30 more seconds on this movement. I wasn't going through that rest. Huh? I wasn't going through that. <laughs> You're like, Whoa. sometimes it's all right. Sometimes we'll let it go. Good work, team. Keep it moving. Under 10. And rest. Good job. All right. Last time in, hip dips each way. Here we go. Finding our way down in three, in two, and let's do it. And switch. Quick roll right into that second side. Good work, good work. Last five. And time. Beautiful, good, y'all. All right, way to finish it out. All right, moving on. We got two more rounds of movements left, or two more sets, I should say. Two more pairings. Another 15 and 15 here. Starting us off. We're gonna take one foot up onto our elevated surface here. Okay, option to just drop into that lunge and right back up to the top. But since this is our power workout, our goal is gonna be to drop in and elevate. Okay, if we can get nice soft off those toes, active quad on that elevated leg. If you can get one inch, two inches off the floor, that's great, okay? So you choose which leg you want up first. I don't care either way. Our goal is to make a quick transition and again, if you can't take that lift off of your foot, I just want you to work control and then quick to the top. Like you were gonna take that jump, but maybe we don't if we're not quite ready to get there yet today, that's fine. Here we go, in three, in two, and let's do it. Just 15 seconds each way. I'm gonna build in a little bit of extra time for you to switch your sides. Good, we switch it out in three, in two, and switch, switch those feet out. Once you have that stable position, go ahead and begin. Looking good, looking good. Finishing in five. And time, beautiful. All right. From there, we're coming down to a classic, a quarantine classic. Starfish sit up, getting out wide. I'm bringing left hand up. 
to right toes, right back down, right hand, left toes, getting everything out nice and wide. Ricky's ready. Here we go. In three, in two, and let's get it. Good, big reach. Good, big rotation across. Good, Rick, keep that breath going. Last five. And time. Good job, good job. All right, back on up. Tucking those toes up onto that box. Just that. keep dying or turn just turn itself off? Yeah. All right, here we go. And begin, 15 seconds each way here. You got your eyes on the camera, you can see Rick. Even though he's not jumping, he's coming up quick, using some force to the top. Powerful hip close out at the top. And switch, good, switching it out, quickly establishing that position and rolling into that second side. He's moving with some force now, I love it. Final five, to the beat, and time, beautiful job. All right, back down to those starfish. In three, and let's go. 30 seconds on the clock. Good, past halfway, continuing to breathe here. Last five, final reach, and time, good. All right, coming up, Rick's gonna see if he can match that pace for this last round. Good, toes up on the edge of that box. Here we go, in three, in two, and let's do it. Good, 15 seconds off this first leg. If you're watching Rick, I want you to try and keep that same pace. If you have the stability, if you don't, continue to keep the pace you've got. If you can, match this guy. And time, let's switch it out. Good, clock is on, 15 here. Last five. Two more reps and time, good job. All right, moving into those starfish now. Last time in, here we go, in three, in two, and let's do it. Great reach across. Halfway, 15 down, 15 to go. Come on, last couple reps, keep that breath. Finishing in five, in three, and rest. Good, y'all, we take a minute on the rest and we're moving into our last set of movements, y'all. Great job. Last one in. All right, y'all, last set here. We got that band down around the ankles. The base movement is gonna be sit, stand, star jump, right back in. We sit every time. If that jump isn't working for you, you can go banded, sit up to the top, and then just a little jack with that band, okay? That's our first movement, and I'll cue your second one once you get through that first round. Woo! 
Ooh, that's the best one I've ever had. All right, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. In three, in two, and let's go. Good, perfect, yeah, that's great. Good, so Rick's giving you both options here. That's a big star jump. And then here, just that jack. Both effective, a little bit more power, a little bit more effort into that star jump. But both movements work. Do what's working for you. You got 10 seconds. Finishing in three, in two, and time. Beautiful. All right, next one in. We're gonna work from a push-up position. I'm gonna drop in, coming on up out of that push-up. You can take that push-up from the knees as well. And then we go raise, raise, alternating. So push-up, left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg, and then right back in. If we can get six or seven reps in this one, we'll call it good. Okay, here we go. Into that plank position in three, in two, and let's go, 30 seconds in. Press, spinal balance, alternating lifts up. Rick's looks way better than mine did. We'll have to review the tape to make sure, but I'm fairly confident that's the case. Good, that's past half. Good work, good work. Final five. And time, good job. All right, back into that band. We got one round down, two to go. We've got 120 seconds of effort remaining in your workout today. We go in five, in three, and let's do it. Good, big jack at the top. Good, Rick. So Rick's using that jumping jack rather than the star jump, but he's taking his pace up significantly. So that's a good way to continue to find that same level of effort with a little bit of modification in the movement, which I love. Good job, Rick. We finish in five, in three, and rest. Good job. All right, back down. High plank, press into that bird dog. Alternating arm, foot lift, and begin. We're real close to the end here, y'all. Encourage you that at the start, it's probably too late now, but always to pause if you need a little extra break or if you need more time in that warm up. Great option to use it at the start, finishing in three, in two. And time. Damn, race. Come on. Come on, bro. All right, here we go. In three. In two. And let's do it. Good. Final 30 seconds here. Good, great pace, Rick. You notice Rick's picking those feet up in that squat. Just a little lift on those feet and then he's coming back to the top. Under 10. Good, Rick's gonna take two more reps to finish. Last one in and rest, good. All right, team. Final 30 seconds of your workout. Push up, alternating leg arm lift in three, two, and let's go. Beautiful. Rick's establishing that position at the top before he lifts anything off the floor. Looking great. Halfway in. Final 10 seconds of your workout today. Final week of snow shape. Last five seconds of power. We finish in three, in two, and that's time. Great job, give yourselves a round, give yourselves a foot five if you got someone in there with you. We need to work on that still, we're doing our best, all right? Uh, great work today, y'all. This one will be live on YouTube, it will, it will not be live. It will be on the YouTube page. It will also be on our public YouTube. So 
feel free to share it out there. Let people know as many. We're trying to get up to how many subscribers so we can start to monetize. We need a thousand. We need a thousand. I think we're at about oh, 240. 240. All right. Not bad. Not bad. We're making headway. Uh, so share it out. Let people know we're, we have this content for you. Always appreciate growing that community. Um, still have apparel going out shortly. You should have it in about a couple weeks. So if you pre-ordered any apparel, we'll get with you. We'll get that out to you. I don't think I have any other studio news. If you have anything for us, drop it in the comments. If you are using this class as part of your challenge, make sure you comment on, on it once you're done. And that's it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.